There is hope that new HIV infections, especially among vulnerable women and girls, will reduce as the Nakapava at wise early injectable PrEP shows 100% efficacy in the Purpose One study. Purpose One study evaluated Lenacapava, an injectable PrEP commonly known as LEN, that is administered twice yearly at an interval of six months to help prevent one from acquiring HIV. Purpose One study is being done in two countries, Uganda and South Africa. In Uganda, it was done by Johns Hopkins University Moju Research Collaboration from August 30th, 2021 to August 31st, 2023. And we included over 5,000 women to take part in this study. These were young girls aged 16 to 25 years. And uh, these girls were at substantially higher risk of HIV looking at their lifestyle. So when the girls enrolled in the study, they were either given uh, the Lenacapava injection or we have another investigational drug called FTAF or Discovy. And we also had uh, the oral prep, the available oral prep, FTDF. And uh, we have shown that Lenacapava protected these girls from getting HIV 100% because there's no girl who got HIV infected while in the study which shows that the drug works to protect these girls from HIV. Unfortunately, for the girls who are on uh, FTAF or the smaller tablet Discovy, uh, there was no difference between uh, the infections we saw in that group and the group uh, that took FTDF, meaning that uh, these, these two products were not adhered to by the girls. They didn't take the products as expected, and therefore the FTAF, that's the tablet, didn't work well to protect them, but the injection worked 100%. And we are glad that for these young girls who are struggling to take pills every day, even those who come and take pills, you find that they don't come back. We are glad that they will be able to get a method that is discreet, that they can use less frequently, only two times a year, and it can protect them against HIV. PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis helps to prevent people from acquiring HIV and is administered routinely to HIV-negative individuals before exposure to HIV. All women and girls who participated in the Purpose One study will continue to receive Renacapava until the drug is readily available. Uh, because now we have finished the, the, the trial phase of knowing whether Renacapava works, right now every girl who comes back, we are giving them Renacapava if they so wish. So they are getting Renacapava, the active, now they know that they are getting the active product Renacapava. So we have had 100% acceptance almost in Uganda. They are all accepting Renacapava. South Africa is about 90%, and even those 10 who do not accept it's because they are moving on to work abroad and so on. But it has been well accepted, it is safe, it is well tolerated, and the girls are very happy with this method that they get only once in six months, two injections in a year. And it is hoped that many HIV prevention options will play a critical role in stopping new HIV infections. So when you see some of these new injectable uh, interventions, the PrEP program, some of those are trying to address this problem uh, because the goal of some of these studies is to increase options for young women. As arrangements go on to have HIV injectable PrEP, Lenacapava, available, government has worked out a plan to ease access to oral PrEP by partnering with private pharmacies. These tablets will be put at the private pharmacy. We have a memorandum of understanding between the government and those private pharmacies. So for average client, they offer the, the, what? the PrEP. They will be given a small token as compensation of around 2,000 to 3,000 Uganda shillings. And this will be paid by our, our friends from, the, from PEPFA. Okay? But uh, what I'm saying that it is us who are going to give the drugs to the what? To the, to the pharmacy. So these clients will be referred from the hospital to the pharmacy. So once they come to the pharmacy, they will be checked. If the HIV negative, they are given what? Their what? Their, their tablets and go back. When it is over, they will be coming back to that very pharmacy for refilling. All these innovations in the HIV prevention landscape bring hope to the global target of ending HIV by 2030. Adia Nakuti, UBC.